Ancient Yankee is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my fall deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. Hello once again everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3, the lore series after the cliffhanger. We've came to learn that the Mind Flayer, it's uh, this Mind Flayer called the Emperor, this our dream visitor. The one who's been helping us all along. And we now have to see what we make of it. We also came to learn that that Gith Yankee that's been held, it's Orpheus. Someone we've been reading a lot about. Prove to me that you are who you say. And it's the music from the character creation, that's amazing. You saved a child from a viper back in the Druid's Grove. You saved the Asima Night Song from her soul cage. You let me live last time you were here. Though it brought Blackith's wrath upon you. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof you need. Now, help me. Very well, lads. So by this point, we are certain that this um this guy is actually helping us. And just so you know, if you decide to attack or and, and actually kill him, well, a spoiler, I guess, you, you you see the end of the game. Basically, the game ends there because you actually die. He's the one, with the help of Orpheus, um, maintaining us um, from not transforming. So, now, the video will have uh, timestamps because I am going to talk a little bit about the lore here. So feel free to skip it if you wish. But in terms of the D&D world, uh, the Mind Flayers are really old species. They even predate recorded history. It's a, it's a, it's a species so old that not even themselves have uh, full understanding of, uh, full knowledge of their own origins. Although this can vary, this can vary, considering that there are many theories out there, obviously. The Mind Flayers are um, what's called aberrations on the world, on this world, meaning their existence is not mm, completely natural in, in most of planes of existence, right? So, as we know, they started making, uh, making use of their psionic abilities to dominate other races, to form the, what it was, the Empire. Um, and at the very height of the empire, the Mind Flayers primarily enslaved the Githyanki race. And eventually, when the when the Gith managed to break free of the psionic control and all of that, they went on to build um, their own Gith empire, right, in the astral plane. And that that I believe it took less than a year. That was that, that's the story at least. And this was mostly uh, led, facilitated by. A Githyanki woman whose name was Gith, which later held became the name for the for the race itself, right? After the Illithid Empire in the astral plane, uh, when in the astral plane when the Illithid Empire was destroyed, the Mind Flayers started to run to escape and look um, into places more like the Underdark, for example. We've been there. We met a Mind Flayer there. The one who tried to help us somewhat. And all the Mind Flayers as well. Uh, this is another little fact, I guess. And we've already come to know this in latest episodes. But all the Mind Flayers serve the Elder Brain. Which is like a collective hive uh, mind. And we, we've seen it already. when Before we fought Catholic Thorn. This basically is a, a recollection 
of all mind flayers um, ever lived, basically. When an illithid, when a mind flayer reaches the end of, it, of his life, his brain merges with the elder brain, basically. However, just like we see now, and just like we saw in the Underdark, there are rogue mind flayers as well. There are mind flayers that um, don't seem to serve the the illithid empire, the elder brain sort of thing. We encounter that in the Underdark and this one now. Um, so that is because it would seem that if a mind if a mind flayer is outside of the range of the elder brain with time eventually this could be this one could be able to regain their independence keep in mind that the reproductive uh, process of the mind flayer is basically turning people turning humanoids into mind flayers if it's not humanoid uh, it usually turns into something else like it's been dragon mind flayers sort of thing and other creatures um, so yeah keep that in mind as well but yeah, as I said, when a mind flayer is uh, out of range of the elder brain, with time, this one could regain his independence, his free will, so to, to say, to call it something, right? Um, and again, that is because of the process of uh, maybe a mind flayer bef uh, being a, a man or a geth or something else before, right? Because when a, uh, when a mind flayer is created, the person who holds the tadpole is completely destroyed uh, before. However, sometimes my flayers can retain things like personality traits uh, of the person who was before. Um, and this is highly prohibited by my flayers. It's seen as a weakness, you know? It's, in, it's seen as a flaw. And if this something like this was to be discovered by them, that mind flare would be killed and that is because that um, difference that they see they call it the adversary and they believe that that it's the thing that's gonna lead them into complete extinction okay guys I hope that with uh, keeping all that blabbing in mind we can continue and have a better idea of the things to come so, back where we were, the Emperor is helping us, we know that, we've been through a lot, so we do need to, and everything that he says adds up with everything we've read and everything we've seen, so we need to move forward, we need to get going, how do I help? he knows us all he's been in all of our dreams together we can turn the tide very well so this mind uh, this kithyanki as we've talked about before they are very different to the ones we've encountered so far these are monk looking uh different mind uh, well uh, not my flares Kithyanki and that is we come to learn later because these are the guard of of the Orf or Orpheus basically the prince of the comet of which we have read a lot and if you've if you've been following the series so far you certainly know what to expect later on you cannot hide right I, will ascend. I don't know if I want to get close yet quite frankly Make way. especially not with Lysel at, at least until I can get a hold of my paladin and shadow her. However, Lysel does have dexterity, 
So this shouldn't be too difficult. But yeah, they are trying to free Orpheus. That's the thing. Mm, that is not good at all. Okay, we we won't have to work with that. Oh, it missed. Oh, there she was. But basically what the Emperor explained, in case you, you got lost there, because I, I realized I, I talked about the Lord of the Mind Flayers, but I didn't explain what we're doing here exactly. What he's doing is that he's, he's got him here because with his power, he is able to help us in not becoming a Mind Flayer ourselves. And if you if you remember, and you probably do, because that was a big uh, that was a big thing. Um, Blackith sent us into the prison to kill everything that was in here, which basically meant either this is a conversation we had in the previous episode at the very end, either the Emperor or Orpheus. And why is that? We've read a lot about um, the secret of uh, Blackith. And if you haven't figured it out yet, the secret of Blackith is that she claims to know what to do, uh, what is to be done in order to resist psionic powers from mind flayers which is basically what it the uh, the way that um, they free themselves in the first place the one who knew how to do that was Gith the woman named Gith the original queen mother of Orpheus who passed her power into him uh, basically however it's pretty obvious Blackith does not know how to do that and that's why she uh, that's why the legends were made up about Voss killing Orpheus but not really killing him because they need the information obviously he won't give it but yeah I reckon I reckon we now have everything we need to understand. We leveled up. Now these guys are marked as uh, friends. I'm entirely sure. But yeah, if, if my explaining is not sufficient, worry not, because a couple of those things will be addressed today. I'm not sure if I want to use the executions just yet.
Okay, and there is this one up here. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, lol. <laughs> I must retake control over the Gajanki Prince. Lol. This one never fails. Well, it didn't. Still on my feet. Mm. Damn. Okay, you got this. There you are. Indeed, we will have to unravel a few things here and it's gonna be quite interesting. You were in the prism all this time, why did you deceive me? It was necessary. Rare are those that would openly consider a partnership with a mind flayer. Even those who are on a path of becoming one. Ah, especially I would say. Someone just like you. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate. Though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind slayers who caught me. Changed me into what I am now. I serve the Elder Brain, the one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my own How? city. How though? I sustained myself on criminals, unglamorous, but there are plenty of them, rarely missed, and they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stelmane. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield, the largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People refer to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence, though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while, until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Very well.
Lord Gortus was one of the chosen in the colony, yeah. Okay, let's see. Indeed. His hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. Did you have to eat criminals? Well, that, uh, well, I mean, he had to, I guess. And he was discarding criminals. How did you end up in here? God has sent me on a mission to retrieve the astral prison. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside and found the Githyan key. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan. All I needed to do was subdue the Githyanki and find allies in the outer world. You. Right. What was it, uh, this battle about? The Githyanki in the sphere, who is it? Prince Orpheus, son of the first leader of the Githyanki. Possible. He was slain by Shistil Kithrak himself. Quite possible, I assure you. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus, his mother, to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, a usurper took her place. Vlacheth declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlacheth wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Control him? Skra! You must return him to his people! That would be a terrible idea. Well... Well, the thing is, obviously, he cannot leave that sphere, otherwise um, we're all dead, you know? The Elder Brain takes control again and we turn into Mind Flayers. Was it you or Orpheus that Blackith want, wanted us to kill when she ordered us inside the prison? Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. I don't understand. The histories claim the prince was burned to ash in the skies. Your histories are fabrications. The prince was not killed. As you can very well see, he was in prison. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. 
If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. What happens if we free Orpheus? The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. Right. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. Well, we won't become illithid by choice, by the way, guys. You are already more illithid than you realize. It has improved you. You seek to reverse an inevitable process. A process of evolution. When I first escaped from the Elden Ring, I too railed against the change. But the longer I have inhabited this form, the more it has grown on me. Even if my original body remained intact after I transformed, I would not return to it. Doing so would only impose limitations. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. So, this is when we take a decision here. I'm trying to avoid becoming a mind flayer. I thought you agreed to protect me. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. Now, this is where uh, what I was talking about. We make a choice now we do not become mind player however we um go into the next step of it um i would do it but frankly actually i'm gonna do this and uh, let me know in the comments if you would like me to go that path or reverse it because i would like to do it just so I can show all the bills. Now that we're going to the city, we're gonna get a lot of items and we're gonna close a lot of bills and and it's gonna be pretty cool. But also let me know because if we do that, which I am going to do this episode, but worry not. I read the comments and if you don't like it, I can reverse it. Um, the the, the only problem is that we lo we we will lose that pretty face that my character's got. <laughs> If you can evolve me, why can't you stop Sermorphosis altogether? The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you, as I told you before. Yeah. Two, why would I? You have done well, the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish Even to evolve as an independent uh, free will illithid, he's still a bit of a fanatic. Yeah, we're gonna do it, but again, as I said, we just did the save, so I can reverse it if, uh, for the next episode if Whatever you guys don't like it. Is no gift to you. you continue to surprise me. Your mind is truly something special. Now, hold out your hand. All right. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. <laughs> Eat it. A coldness seeps. 
seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. Look at that. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Look at that face. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. You are exquisite. When your allies see what you can do, I hope you encourage them to try it for themselves. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain and bring it under our control. Right. What to do? So, look at that. Look at that face. And the eyes go so black and red. Obviously, the other one doesn't because that is Volo's eye. And do not forget about about Volo because remember that he ran away. So let's just see. Just look around. Remember that. We are to go to the city and the more money we can get the better. We reach level 10 right before Baldur's Gate. That it's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, reaction, not reaction. This is a good set, I would say. Well, the build I got on Lisa is pretty rubbish. I, I just wanted to bring her here. Uh, to do all these things. Now, about Orpheus, you can see he's being held. But he told us that, uh, that these are... Infernal chains, and by the way, no, you cannot. Uh, what, what would you call it? You cannot free him, you cannot try. Stone is cold, the parasite within is unresponsive, it has nothing more to give you. Right, let me see. If we can say anything else uh, to the Emperor. Go to the city. Try out your new form. Enjoy. Well, yeah, nothing else. We do have... <clears throat> a lot of things here. And I'm gonna let you... I wanna let you see it. So... We can decide, you in the comments and whatnot. If we are to follow this path, if not, next episode will start. But with my character not being uh, in this state. But for example, look at this one. Uh, spew forth a, a canonical wave of psychic energy and possibly stun targets within. It's pretty good. There was a good um, black hole, I think. This one. Oh, this one is really good. I want to show it to you. Mind Sanctuaries. Uh, sculpt a magical nexus that allows those within to take actions uh, and bonus actions interchangeably. The thing is, when you do, when you do <clears throat> accept these things, it's uh, the tadpoles. It's really good. Right. So reaction.
That one's not bad either. And other than that... Everything else is mo most of a, a bonus, really. Hmm. Okay. Invera targets mine and disrupt its defenses. That's the attack that he was doing all the time. But we don't have any more. Any anyway. And we can do that with Astarion. We can convince a couple of characters. Shadowheart and Laser. We cannot. For obvious reasons. <clears throat> but if something... Look at, look at that face. It's all messed up now. We used to be so beautiful. <laughs> nah, it's alright. We managed level 10 right into Baldur's Gate. That is pretty cool. And taking into consideration, we've been leveling up really slow. Uh, because of the nature of this series. Oh yeah, this is a one spell, one use only. Once used, this can never be used again. I'm gonna show you that as well. You might be interested in that. Now Starion with the Ranger. We're gonna do we had Bounty Hunter, we can add another one, Mage Breaker. Yeah. And we got Urban Tracker. We're gonna add Beast Tamer. We don't need to change anything else. And Laser, we're not gonna do much because, uh, well, if I am to take her to a uh, to event that's related to her, uh, we're just gonna do a full change of a build, basically. But. Here we are, we're looking strong. We're looking good. Maybe not so good, but we're doing alright. The orb hums with cerebral magic. Permeable. Impenetrable. Right. Within it, the Githyanki prince is as silent as a corpse. But for the murmur of his powers being siphoned away. Right. Inscribe Githyanki Slate. Symbolic drawings etched over a forgotten text. Two fingers, one an impossible female with a uh, regal aspect. Other a devil with his uh, his face twisted with white charm. Their hands meet in the exchange of an artifact. The astral person. Can I give this to her? Out of here, quickly. Right. So that's about it here. I hope I could explain things uh, good enough for you to understand. Let's get out of here. This is getting interesting. Of course, Lady Cell wants to talk. Just want to check if anyone else has anything to say. Where's Karlak? Well, that's odd. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Voss would set free. It is Orpheus. The blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Vlakith. Long ago, 
when we rose up against our gay slavers. Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. 157. That many they have been. Yeah, also the, the Tiamat. Uh, dragon demon sort of thing we've talked about that as well I really hope you're getting uh, putting it all together as we go because that that was the whole idea of this series so far I like how it's going it's all untangling 157 that's a lot of black <laughs> yeah yes our current queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years but it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle, or so the Varshis teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. I cannot stop staring at my face. <laughs> I'm gonna miss our face. It's been it's been it's been quite a journey we've been through. Orpheus is the seed of Vlakith the mice. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our Gaeth slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyanki are to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. Very well. About us no longer having it. Why don't we have the egg? We do have the egg. Don't we? Don't tell me I sold the egg. Ask Lisa about the dicks from the Elden Dark. What does she say Once now? Once again, your mind opens to Lisa, and she considers the disc. More writings on Orpheus, the Prince of the Comet. The Prince of the Comet, Part One. So it was that we were free from Gaeh shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered. And one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Vlakith would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Vlakith seized the empire against the mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son. Orpheus, Prince of the Comet, the true heir. He knew Vlakith's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The War of the Comet had begun. Right. Incredible tale. I wouldn't have believed it if we hadn't seen the prince for ourselves. This is going in a good direction. Uh, I'll see about the egg. I'm not gonna ask about that just yet. Seems like that's it. In the meanwhile, it seems like no one has to talk about anything. Uh, there is people missing. That's a starion, but Karlak's not there. Hmm. Huh. What is Withers? So, 
There's been a mind flayer inside the artifact, or astral prism, the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore, nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? Well, yeah, it seems like that's it. Let's rest. Because we are going towards the city finally. Oh yeah, and we definitely need to take um Karlak. Look at Shadowheart with the hair. Looks good. How do I look now that I'm clean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we should definitely bring Karlak and I don't know what who to bench. Maybe I'll bench Lacel. For the time being. A stadium has a, a few things going here as well. But also does will. So I have to manage uh, how to unravel things slowly. In the episodes to come. Gods. A mind flayer has been getting their tentacles all over our dreams this whole time. I'm really not sure about putting any trust at all in this thing. It's already shown itself a liar. I've got my eyes on the Emperor, and Karlak doesn't blink. Not very well. Yeah, let's uh, let's go talk to Lacel. Need to bench her for a while. Inconceivable that we would seek release from one tadpole only for you to commune with another. Oh. I chide you if my mind were not consumed by the sight of Orpheus within his domed prison. The prince of the comet lives, but make no mistake. I can see the change in you. I mean, yes, yeah, pretty Feel obvious. The parasite worming its way through you even further. You have invited your own misery. I will not break our alliance for it. But I will not condone it. Well, that's fair enough. Uh... Yeah. Camp, are you certain? Sorry, love. Very well. I'll keep watch until you call on me. I cannot even say anything. I'm kind of excited, quite God, frankly. Shadowheart looks like a stack of gold. <laughs> Never thought I could get so excited about someone's forehead, but here we are. Yeah, true. She got rid of the bangs, uh, the fringe, whatever you call it. Let's go. Aces. Aces. Radio. Let's see what Shadowheart has to say. So the hairstyle, I guess, is because she's now a Silonite. Be honest. What do you think of the new look? Looking fly. Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. Well, there's that for it. Let's get Karlak ready. Again, not much to change. Because I also have a few ideas for Karlak once we get a few a few things in the city. So yeah, the returning spear is gonna go, probably. But enough of this. We need to get going. It's been really good so far.
must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take their nether stones. Pretty well. I, I have to say, I will miss what they know could help the other voice of the dream, dream visitor. Guys, look at that. This place is amazing and it's not even a, a third of the whole thing we're gonna get to see. Jenna <laughs> get lost <laughs> she was um she was sick she had spots on her face and hands she went to go get some herbs and she was supposed to come back the same day that was last 10 day though well that does not sound good at all Oh, I don't know. Guards blow like petards. They don't help us. Only five? Oh, um, thank you so much. I don't have anything and you can't do anything without any coin. I'll pay you back when I find my mum. Well, pretty well then. I guess we'll have to, to try and find something about that. But here we are. Everyone's talking about different things. It might be a bit difficult to hear me over this. But right away, see every, everyone's got something going on. It's really good to be around here. There, for example, look at that. There's some quarrel. What's going on here? I'm a paladin. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Deluvia! Get these squatters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. Okay. Paladin, everyone come, explain your disagreement and we shall find an accord. I don't see why I should be explaining myself. It's my property. They are on it unlawfully. Look, we needed somewhere to live. This place was empty and it had walls. I've got children for tears sake. Well, that is not your house, is it? <clears throat> right, let's see how this unfolds. Oh, I, that's all very <coughs> sad, but, but I still <clears throat> don't see how... It gets cold out there at night, Mr. Gregorio. My kids will get sick. Please, we'll stay out of your way. We just need a roof. This is my home. I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. Mm, well, the thing is, that is Look, true. Now we failed the insight. I'm losing both just standing here. Make your call, judge, before Zenobia makes it for you. I do not remember what was that about. Uh... But, as I usually do, I tell you the, the, the check tells us that this guy is hiding something in his house and he does not want to... Well, actually, we had this. I didn't realize. Right. I can't let them stay here. 
What if the little brat gets into the basement? What if you go in the basement? Well, we need to find out. So, uh, we're gonna help the other guy. Although it's not the right thing, I would say. Oh, it's a 20. Fine, fine. They can stay. Just don't blame me when they turn on you like the mongrels they are. I respect your hustle, sweetheart. But it won't work on me. You've stepped on the guild's toes. And we'd like a little something to make it better. Who the fuck you think you're talking about? Or what? I'd say you'll live to regret it. But honestly, I'm not so sure you'd live. Intimidation. Melee attack, no some sense into his upstart. <laughs> oh god, okay. Part, sweetie, a mistake the guild will hear about. Come on, boys, we've got places to be. Fuck off. How much experience? Damn, we're gonna get a lot now that we're in the city. Better to be within it. Not quite sure why you stood up for us like that. But I won't say I'm not grateful. Thanks. I may Torm keep you. You're the first person in this city to have our backs. Thank you. Really. Very well. So the whole reason to do this is because we read the other guy's thoughts. And we know that is something fishy going on now here. So we're gonna... Mm, step aside from all the lore for today and we're gonna get to some completion right so there's the kit and we need to find the basement it's an upper level as well oh there is paintings can i pick them up please why not Tarion. Let's crack it open. It's really easy now, isn't it? Still alive, so that's progress. Musings. Last some some tales. A ring here. Oh, look at that. That's like more dressing clothes than anything. The basement key. Can I pick this one up? There we go. Those are surely 50 gold. Let's have a look at myself. What do you think of Still it? Still me, even after everything. Not so much, to be honest. Not everyone subscribes to. Oh, but this is not even your house. I just wanted to read. That's curious. Right, we found the hatch. Let's see. There are traps about. Oh, this is full of traps. Let's take a Starion on his own. 
This is full of traps. Perception fail. Maybe might be here. Reduced to this. Mm. So here, instructions for donations. We got that. Oof. God knows. Gifts for refugees only. Please distribute. Right. Got this chest. Ouch. I didn't even I didn't even see a, a, a trap to this arm. Right. Arthur, package still waiting for you uh, at Felogiers. You better not be late again or we'll start to wonder if you're really as committed as you claim to be. Pick it up, put it in the, in the teddy bear, make the donations. It couldn't be simpler. Really, if it's still here this time tomorrow, we'll stuff you with it. As you well know, with plenty to spare. Mm. So there is... There is something... The home of a sweet, generous soul. It might be worth looking into his donations. Who knows what he's been giving? Precisely. So there is something fishy in the donations, in the teddy bears, it would seem. Maybe some contraband. Well, we don't know. But that is a mission now. As for this, I remember when I first came here, I th I always thought this was like a secret room or something. But I don't know. I never could open none of that, so... Traps. There is that. That will be about it. We got one mission already. That's pretty good. We need to see a lot of things in this city. But as I said, there is not much more here. Maybe we'll come back. I don't know. But in the meantime, look at that. It's like you barricaded. Damn, she's running fast. Everyone's got something going on. Well, a lot of a lot of things happen here. Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. Why not? It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. <laughs> A little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. Very well. So yeah, as you can see, the march wa uh, was already here. I don't know if you can see it, yeah. Even without Thorn, the whole charade was uh, going. As we came to learn, the the whole plan was that Kendrick Thorne was going to lead the march. Oh. Oh, it's an earthquake. Uh, in any case, as I was saying, the plan was that Thorne was going to lead the march here. And Gotash was gonna man, pretend to be the hero that saved them, that basically. 
And even without Ketherick, the plan still goes. We do need to find... Uh, Gortash and whatnot. Let's bring out Scratch. It's gonna be helpful for this sort of thing. But as I told you, just a lot of things going here. So we're gonna have uh, a lot of content to clean. New business. If my friend tries to get you to invest, kindly turn her down. She doesn't need the encouragement. Ah, very well. Isn't it amazing though? Many companies use, uh, many games use have the standard uh, chat GPT sounding dialogues for NPCs. And in here, everyone has got something going personally. What? What is that? Here? It's locked. I ah, never mind that. Your homes. Oh, that's an order. What's going on here? Young lady, shut up. Darians, stand with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. Oh. Another visitor, I see. Listen, we keep letting the likes of you in. Soon, there'll be no room left for any of us true Baldarians. Well, I am definitely not Baldarian. If you are a human or something else, you can have that option of Baldarian, but obviously I'm a drow. Uh... The army on your doorstep will slay Baldurians and refugees alike. You must stand together. Uh, that's deception. We could do that as well. Let's do the paladin. Another bleeding heart. Piss off and take it elsewhere. Ah well, all right. I'm not paid to debate with civilians. No, we pay taxes oh. for you to protect us. Nice to be in a crowd of normal people for once. Who are you, Slatan Ibrahimovic? I just lost a wager, thanks to you. It's Slatan. Someone who bets that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. Oh. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight. Remain silent. Yeah, apparently he's a Sharon, I would say. There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith. Your loyalty. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has our lady forsaken you? Oh, shall her to lie. Um... Now I'll let it handle. I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable. Thanks to you. Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the lower city. Though if I was you, I'd be very tempted to just forget it all 
and disappear. You have some form of doing so, after all. Okay, so she's been uh, looked for by the Sharons, it seems. Well, we'll have to see about that. There's a lot of things, as I say. That Oh, look at that. This is the kids. It's Merkel uh, and Matis. Merkel. Dude, we, we never found Maul. I don't know what I did. You did me a real favor clearing all those ghouls out of Moonrise. That old bone bag Ketherick had some fancy junk stashed behind all the cobwebs and piles of gore. What? You looted Moonrise Towers? Didn't you? Figured we only got the scraps you didn't have the strength to carry. Mm, well, we did. Mm, picked up a lot of things. <coughs> Apologies, I'm losing my voice quite often lately. What do you think of Baldur's Gate? Wish I could tell you. We're stuck out here, but most of the action is beyond Worms Crossing. Right, so as we've seen, it's uh, all the refugees are out here. Show me these fancy items you have enough uh, on offer. Would I try to fool a sharpie like you? Have a look. Okay, let's see. As I said, we're gonna get a lot of good things in here. Look at that already. Actually, uh. While wearing the amulet, the world's jump and flying speed increases by 1.5. It's not bad. We're gonna get that. We like to spend money, don't we? The pugilist. This is for a monk. Quite useful for a, for a bare hand fighter. Cunning broom. That's radio. Uh, foggy cloud. Disengage. Right. To work for a uh, acrobatics. Yeah, the the clock could work for a for a, a droid. Have you got anything else? Well, we're gonna buy these things as usual. We like all of those. Right. Stay away from trap chest. Ninety two percent discount he had. What about you, kid? We need a place to hide any good stuff. We oh hi! Oh, if you're here to save me again, I don't really need to be <laughs> saved right now. Good thing, huh? Bye. They don't tell me nothing about uh, Maul. I heard you helped a refugee family stay in the home they found. Good for you. As a trader, I'm going to look for a place too. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, that's it. They don't tell me nothing about Maul, dude. I will have to look into that. I cannot read that. What do you got? Donations. Donations for what? Do you know I have eyes? The refugees. Oh well. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Uh, persuasion. I need to get to, into the barn right now. Something dangerous might be among the donations. That's to steal things. We've got a lot of a lot of charisma. No, wait, that <laughs> that's not to steal. That's because something is going on in the donations. That's true. Well, yeah. Thank you. I'm sure your contribution will be greatly appreciated. But wait. Wait. Got something else to donate, have ya? The throw-ins that we do now because of the elephant? I'm gonna let you through because I don't want to take any risks. But you better not be lying. Right. Something fishy with those donations. That well, it's a good introduction mission for our new chapter. There's lots going on. 
and there's lots of waiting for us. Is everything all right, Manip Nestor? Sir? There's been a report of dangerous contraband in the donations, and we're going to check it out. What? Right. All these goods have already been checked in. I didn't ask for your opinion, Fist. Huh? Fall in and do your job. Nothing around here. Oh, but I can open everything. Like, it doesn't show me as stealing. It's all rotten. Donation's chest. Here it is. What is this? Th this one I cannot open for s somehow. I should... What? Disarm. You were right. Explosives. Holy now shit. Give me some room. I need to make sure the rest of these donations are safe. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. Okay. Starin. Well, hello. I thought this assignment was going to be done. No such luck. children it's abominable yeah that is quite fucked up they really don't like the this teddy bear uh teddy bear toy stuff with explosives still adorable can i use it as a like a, as a, as a, a throwing grenade or something well, that's pretty good oh, there you go <laughs> that would be first uh First thing we do as soon as we get into the city. Do you say anything? Stepped in bliss. Mind your own. Ah, well, anyway, no. Don't worry. Glad to see you. Glad to see anybody, really. It was a lonely road getting here through those abandoned farmlands, and I'm a sociable sort. It is truly remarkable. Oh, to be fair, for a miserable collection of shabby hovels jam-packed with wretched refugees, this place isn't bad at all. <laughs> How, with all all the flaws that the game has, still it feels so like. Um, I don't know. Feels like the, the NPCs feel human. You know what I mean? We're farmers, Chris. What are we gonna do? I apologize for my husband and his obsession with that bloody dog. What was that, my dear? Nothing, darling. Nah. <laughs> What's going on? This a dog? No, I'm afraid I must insist. You do not pet the hound. My love, you can't keep being so rude to strangers. It's just a dog. All the grabbing and touching startles poor Biscotti. I will not apologize for caring about my boy. <laughs> He's a fine looking hound. Isn't he just? I'm so very glad they let animals in the camp. Means Biscotti can be kept away from that awful war. Oh, yes. As long as the dog is okay, he's happy. Give me strength. Woman, you should know that you cannot compete with dogs. Uh, I don't know. Dog seems important. Do I have any... Ah, see, yeah, yeah, here it is. How are they gonna see it? What happens if they don't see it? Say what? Uh, she's <laughs> it's got a bow tie. Yes! Oh goodness, yes! 
I am a good dog. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> oh yes, you're lovely. You can come back. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Here we go. Here it comes. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Perfect. No notes. Well, very well. I thought it was going to be like something important. Anyway. Yeah, know your place, woman. Whatever you need. I can't help you. Even talking is painful right oh, now. Oh, okay. Medicine. Come on, let's give it a look. There is lots of refugees here. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Really? Pretending? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. What's the idea? Shh, not so loud. To get Those in, to get in the city, right? They might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends. And I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. <laughs> okay. I guess we could. Color lights. I don't know how we're going to get Grunch into the city. Wounded as he is, <laughs> but we have to. <laughs> like, can you see that, right? We've got to get Grunch in at the city, but he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut? <laughs> and they're worried. Oh my god. Nah. Like, this city's just a joy and nothing else. Oh, look at that. These are the guys from the grove. The ones we saved. And this one at the light, last light in. We fought with her. Even if we only have tankers of river water to raise, we'll drink to their memory. We made it alive to Baldur's Gate. Almost, anyway. But I, I, I can't complain. When I look at Bex and realize she's safe it's hard not to weep from joy we made it through hell twice i know now that as long as danis and i stick together we can do anything what about you what a sad situation the once proud tieflings of elterel Reduced to beggars. I mean, it is what it is. It's life. Some of the kids from the grove. I'm really worried about Umi. Is this the one that didn't talk? They got me signed up to oh, no, 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 it's pots, not. Which is dumb. I'd rather learn how to kill cultists. Yeah. And I bet you'd back me up on that. Well, okay. Yeah, as I said, it's just fucking joy to be just stand around, you know? Oh, sh blood. Oh, what happened here? If you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was odd, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. Mm, okay, I see. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. Wait, so these two are robbing this guy? Stay in this car. Wait, what were they thinking? Or something? They wasn't thinking. Ah, oh, no. Folk. They're Ten all together. Water. Look at the, uh, at the farm. That might be worth a 
I'm gonna have to be doing ex um, um, a little more investigation before episodes just to make sure I can I can show you everything that's hiding here because this is a massive place as I tell you this portion of the city that we know so far it's not even a third and we haven't even seen none of that it's lots Wait, he's sniffing. Oh, uh, an earthquake. It's like Chile. What do you see, Scratch? That's curious. Well, as long as we have the dog, it's all gonna be fine. Right. What? What's going on in there? With pleasure. Is that blood? No, never mind. No. Oh. Holy shit, the mind flare. Sleeping brain start. Looks drunk. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn. Unattended. Oh, this one just transformed. It doesn't feel very fortunate. Oh, but it is. Yeah, this that's the, just the skin and meat of the person oh, before. It's potential ripe for harvesting. Go on. Kill it. Absorb its power. Kill it. Just like you did before. Let's see if we can talk to him. Come no closer, you. You. What are you? What am I sensing? You are like me. Like I was. A vessel yet to transform. Help me. I am so hungry. We are new to our collective. Ah, my birth was difficult. The vessel fought hard. Oh. It left me weak. We need to feed. We need a brain fresh and frantic to restore our strength. Well, we're gonna kill him, obviously. This is a uh, server of the collective. Very well, kin. I shall dine on you. Oh. Well. This should be easy. Very weak. Mind player brain. True soul alien, your time has come. The absolute calls to all faithful, and you have been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks, leave your armor, leave all the insignia of your uh, of rank behind. And this was a, a, a flaming fist, it seems. You are part of the flaming fist no longer. You have been a loyal true soul, but soon you will be so much more. You will be one of us. Okay then. Now the brain. The bra oh, there it is. And uh, this sticky uh, grain mass exudes a slightly sweet putrid odor. 
Devouring brain. Oh, so it gives me a point there. Okay. Well, yeah. I heard the screaming in the in the in the windmill. I don't even remember that one, by the way. The usually I try to play it like I say, "Oh wow, what is this?" But I know what it is in the in the series. You know, I played the game before. I did not remember that one. Oh, that will be interesting to see. Something over there. Where? Look at that. Those two having a date. Fine day for it, eh? Got to enjoy things while they last, I suppose. You see, like everyone's going, uh, it's got something going. It's quite interesting. Oh, what's going on here? These guys are plotting something. The girl, oh, the girl camp. So, the girls, we've read about them uh, so far. Oh, hold on. Welcome, friend. You've joined us as we honor our fallen dead. A somber time, and you have brought a somber guest. I did not think you would willingly return, Spawn. Well, indeed. Oh, that's true. We I didn't do this. Never see you people again. We didn't have this encounter at the beginning Honestly. of Act Two. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Valdisk Ablast. I feel we're intruding. We should leave quickly. Calm yourself. You will not be harmed. Our leader has called off the hunt. She wishes to speak to you. Im orachnete. Krasinetra. So that guy we actually encountered at the beginning of Act 2. We did, I did not go through that. I, I forgot. He's so, here. The impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. What do you want with Astarion? The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When I was hunting you, I was to bring you back here, interrogate you, discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. <laughs> it's a long story, honestly. The way he speaks, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's just a uh, it's great character. Uh... Yeah. Free. <clears throat> Not while his master still lives. But he has perhaps earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Kazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children. But I promise you, they're already dead. Can you be sure, though? I spent two hundred uh, true, years true. bringing him victims. Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. I know our plight is grim, but if there is even a chance to save them, we must take it. 
If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. You owe them revenge, if nothing else. You owe them that. Okay. Yeah, as I was telling you, we've read about the girls before. The girls is basically a guild uh, like the witchers from the witcher sort of thing. They hunt um, creatures. Uh, fiends sort of thing. I suppose. Yes. Yes. Revenge I can do. Thank you. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> if you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. No. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short. But we will see you again when it is done. Very well. There you go. You see? We start to pick up things, pick up missions. The well is going to open once again. But I think we we'll have to leave it here. I tried to give a, a quick scope to the beginning of the area. At the, at the beginning of the episode as well. We had some Lord of the Mind players. That was an awaited episode as well. But... Yeah, we have to leave it here for today. We have lots to keep going. I'm cancelling temporarily the Shadow of Earth tree series. Because I will be uploading one video daily from now on. There is just lots to see and I want to bring it all. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.